Okay, so welcome back. Now today we're going to take a look at a device that I have found to be very, very useful over the years. Um, and this device is a little bit different from many of the devices you'll see like on Amazon. Um, this has got some functionality that I find to be incredibly useful. This is a variable transformer. Um, I used to call them Variacs, but actually it's not a Variac. A Variac is a trade name. But this is a variable transformer. And the reason why this is different is because if you look on the front here, you can see the input is 110 volts AC 60 hertz. The output goes from 0 to 230 volts AC. Absolutely wonderful. Usually what you'll see is a variable auto transformer that goes from like, uh, it's got 110 in and it goes from 110 to 0 out. This does both. It's a step up and a step down variable transformer. So it goes from 0 all the way up to 230. In my case, if I put 120 in, I can get up to 100, uh, 250 volts out. Very, very useful. So why would you need this? Well, for example, we were talking in a previous video, a recent video, about um, iron core transformers and their nonlinear characteristics. And we came up with kind of a guesstimate about what those nonlinear voltage versus current characteristics look like. And with this device, you can actually measure that. You can go up above 120 volts and see how much current flows, and you can develop a, a nonlinear characteristic, which we'll show in uh, another video how we develop that uh, VI characteristic. And you can do, you know, if you're doing um, electronics and you need like a 20 volt DC and you're going to build a um, AC-DC converter or bridge rectifier, you can use this. Absolutely very useful um, testing uh, equipment limits, looking at thermals, very, very useful. Now, if you look at this, you can see it comes with a standard US 120 volt AC three prong adapter. The output is, since this is a 230 volt output, it's designed for like going to a UK market where you've got this big three prong uh, 230 volt output uh, connector. All right. So what I did in order to be able to use this on my bench is I went and I bought a jumper cable. This turns out to be a fused jumper cable. It's got a fuse in here, but it's basically a UK 230 volt. And I just snipped off one end and uh, brought out two of the wires line in neutral so I can hook them up on the uh, on the bench. So here you've got your two, 0 to 230 out. Comes with a 10 amp fuse, uh, 250 volt. Uh, I've never had to replace it. Uh, it also comes, um, I had forgotten about this, but it comes with... Um, four spare fuses and a um, user manual. Actually, I never opened this. My guess is um, it is written in something that doesn't really resemble English. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's basically got something in here that's probably not very of much use. Um, but it comes in, and I was impressed. This is a very heavy device. It's probably 12 pounds, I think. Very big device, um, and it came in a nice big styrofoam box, which I still have. And um, so it came very nice. No, it was undamaged and uh, no problems at all. So if you look at this, we've got the input goes through the, the 10 amp 250 volt fuse, uh, a rocker switch off and on, a very useless voltmeter. Um, you can see it goes from 0 to over 300 volts. And of course it's not accurate, a uh, fairly useless voltmeter. You might consider, if you care, replacing this with a digital, but I don't care. Um, when I use this, I assume I'm going to need, uh, using a couple voltmeters um, to measure the input and output. Uh, and then you've got the, um, the output um, UK connector. Now on the top, you can see it's got a dial, and um, I found that dial to be generally of little use. Um, it, it shows you where you are, kind of, sort of, um, when you spin the dial. 
Um, now I've seen, I recall seeing a while back a uh, review of a device kind of like this, similar manufacturer but a different device. And there was a lot of concern about um, this dial isn't accurate. So if I turn this to, you know, when I've got 120 volts out, it actually shows only 100. Well, you know, you got to keep in mind that they can't predict how much, first of all, how much voltage input you're going to use. You know, you're going to have 120 in, you're going to have 110. Um, you know, you can't predict, so you can't make a label that's going to apply to any input voltage. So it, by definition, it's going to be um, not very accurate, right? It depends on the input voltage. Also, you know, it's not a very accurate, it's not intended to be accurate. I know, you know, people have said, well, maybe these numbers uh, are percentages of the input. Well, no, that's not true either. So um, anyway, I basically don't use this dial for anything. I always assume I'm going to hook up a voltmeter. The only benefit of this is before I turn this on, I can see if this is turned to a voltage, you know, if it's up at 150 volts, I know to first turn this down and then turn it on. So I'm not going to open this up. What I've done is I've put together a um, diagram, a, a drawing showing the internals. I've already gone through this a while back and, and checked the wiring to see what's on the inside, so I'm not going to open this up. Um, but basically it's fairly straightforward. It's not an auto transformer. It's a two-winding transformer, and um, we'll take a look at the, the wiring diagram to see what it's got. Now here is my diagram that I put together of this transformer internals. And on the left, we've got the line neutral and ground coming in the 110 volt plug. And the first thing is it goes through a 10 amp 250 volt fuse. Again, that's on the 110 volt side. And it's got this rocker switch, the on off switch. And on the on position, these two are closed. On the off position, these two are open and these two are closed. So when it's on, the line, as expected, goes through, energizes this transformer, and this is disconnected. When it's off, you're basically shorting this, which basically shorts the primary winding. Uh, and this is open. So it basically puts a short circuit across the primary winding. Um, on the secondary, you've got the useless voltmeter uh, between line and neutral. And of course, this varies all the way up to 230 and down to zero. Um, you've got the neutrals tied together, as I recall. And you've got the ground connector going all the way through, and that's connected to the case. So really pretty straightforward. I think that's about it for the, for the wiring. Um, again, when I put 119 volts in, I get uh, 254 out. So um, it, it gives you more voltage than the rating. Okay, so here is the listing on Amazon for, for this device. And you can see um, here's the vendor Moforn. There are a number of devices on Amazon that have the same vendor and they look the same. Um, this, to my knowledge, is the only one that is a step up and step down uh, transformer, at least the one that I could see. So it's variable from zero to 230 volts. Uh, mine can go up to 250 with 120 coming in. Um, so it, it does have benefits over the others in that you can go zero all the way up to 250 volts, where others just uh, are limited to maybe 110. So um, the price was, um, I think when I bought it, it was about the same as this, $84. And down here it says voltage overload protection. Um, no, it does not have voltage overload protection. I think what they're trying to say is that it has a fuse, and if the voltage gets too high, it will cause high currents, and those high currents will blow the fuse. But unless it's hidden somewhere, there is no overvoltage shut off on this device that I have seen. So again, take it with a grain of salt, just like you take something like this. It's got a high quality Cooper coil. No, it's a copper coil. So now here's an example of one thing you can do with um, the variable transformer. And that is, um, like I mentioned, to build a volts versus current characteristic for an iron core transformer. And what I did, you see here on the y-axis, I've got volts from zero up to 200. And here I've got current. 
So what I did is I, I varied the voltage. I went from 10 to 50 to 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, and then measured uh, on the uh, ammeter how many amps are flowing in the primary winding with no load on the secondary. And I came up with this uh, nonlinear characteristic for the transformer. So anyway, that's the device. Um, I found it very useful. I think it's got a great functionality. Price is good. I recall at the time I was kind of worried about, you know, with the heavy weight getting damaged in shipment. They got a nice um, styrofoam container and that it worked really well. So um, I give this a thumbs up. I think it's a very nice device. Um, anyway, I hope that helps. Take care and have a really good day. Thanks.